Hey guys, my name is Wes, and you're watching West Coast TV, and today I'm reviewing Southpaw. To start out with the obvious, Jake Gyllenhaal is an acting beast. This is one of his best performances yet, and it's saying a lot because after watching Nightcrawler, Donnie Darko, or many of his other films, this guy can just act. The chemistry between Gyllenhaal and Rachel McAdams was just off the charts. It was amazing. They only had about 25 minutes of screen time to actually together, but it was enough to where when she gets shot, it's in the trailer, that's not a spoiler, you felt something. I felt a lot. I was like, holy crap, this is a drastic change in this story from the way it started to what it is right now. Something big happened. And that's not to say that they were the only two actors who were just playing great in this film. The rest of the cast really stood up as well. The girl who plays the daughter was fantastic. I could definitely tell that she felt like she had lost a parent in her scenes. I was just completely impressed every time she was on screen. And Forrest Whitaker is Forrest Whitaker. What else did you expect? This guy gives you everything he's got almost every time he's in a film. Another huge positive for this movie was the direction in the boxing sequences. If that doesn't work in this movie, it's almost not worth going to see. And luckily in this film, every time there was a boxing sequence going on, it had me going. I was like pumped up with adrenaline. I was like, oh, yeah, I vocally went yes like three times. I felt a little bit embarrassed. Somebody looked back at me. I was like, dude, that was a sweet thing. What do you want me to do? I really struggled to come up with the negatives for this film. My biggest one is it's a very heavy film. If you're just going to the movies to have some fun, check out a movie, you're like, oh, Southpaw's that boxing movie. No, do not go see this if that's the case. This is a very heavy, drama-strong movie, and it will have you feeling like, whoa, like you've been through the rough shed. I, at several points, felt like I almost need to take a step out and just recollect myself because there was some very serious stuff going on, and the acting overall through it just kept that feeling up through the entire thing. And another negative, if you can call it a negative, wasn't there wasn't enough Rachel McAdams. She has to die at the point. You can't just keep her in this movie for that much longer, or else you can never progress the story. But she was so good in the role, I wanted to see more of her. And the most common negative you'll probably hear about this movie is that it follows the same cliches and boxing storylines that almost every boxing movie has. And to that I say, yeah, it's a boxing movie. That you can't do a whole lot about boxing that's not been done before and it's almost always the same few things get over that and you're just gonna have a great time with the movies which leads to my overall score of an 8 out of 10 I had an outstanding time watching this movie I have not seen a movie this emotionally powerful since maybe last Oscar season but that's just my opinion now on the years what did you think about Southpaw let me know in the comment section and why down there make sure to click the like button if you like the video subscribe to West to go see for more videos and share me on social media thanks for watching my name is Wes you watch West TV have a great night bye